A few months earlier, in February, Tyler Perry halted an $800 million studio expansion due to advancements in AI. Despite this, Perry has been making significant business moves. He recently signed a multi-million dollar multi-year deal with BET Media Group and partnered with Asylum Entertainment. Additionally, Bet Media Group will be running eight of his shows with the potential for renewal. Perry also expanded his agreement with Netflix for several TV series. These ventures indicate that Perry's heavily investing in the entertainment industry. However, the $800 million halt in his studio expansion is noteworthy, suggesting potential financial caution or strategic pivot due to the evolving technological landscape. This brings us to Meghan Markle. Recently, Netflix rented a house in Montecito for filming a new cooking show. Someone on X spread out rumours that Markle initially reached out to Perry, hoping to use his facilities for free to reduce production costs. This approach aimed to impress Netflix by cutting expenses and increasing net income. However, Perry, who's currently navigating financial challenges and industry competition, declined a request for free space, stating that Netflix would need to pay if they wanted to use his facilities. This response reportedly upset Markle. Megan's developing a new Netflix show focused on the joys of cooking, gardening, entertainment and friendship. But experts think a lavish Montecito lifestyle could become an issue for viewers. I think with the launch of the two Netflix documentaries, we'll see different sides to the couple, Lynn Carrot told an outlet. According to the PR guru, the series will provide a glimpse of a softer side as it celebrates the joys of cooking and entertaining friends. She later noted that the Duchess has gone from a woman with political ambition to making jam, so it'll be great for viewers to get an inside track on where her passions lie. In addition to working with Netflix, Megan launched a new lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, and sent strawberry preserves to 50 A-listers and friends. I just worry that the documentary will showcase a seemingly perfect life, and the public may prefer a more relatable story, the expert added. While Megan focuses on a series, Prince Harry will executive produce a documentary about polo. On the other hand, Harry's upcoming documentary about the world of polo could be an opportunity for him to showcase his true self. The professional explained. Having played polo at a high level since a young age, this is something he excels at. Prior to Megxit and the controversy surrounding Prince Harry, the British public adored him, she pointed out. Hopefully this documentary will allow his personality to shine through. Another royal expert suggests Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's trip to Nigeria may have another benefit beyond promoting good causes. The Invictus Games and Mental Health Initiatives of the Gienko Foundation were the focus of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's three-day trip to Nigeria. On Sunday, they took a trip to a polo field in Lagos to hint at their next Netflix project, a show about professional polo players. Former BBC Royal correspondent Michael Cole, however, said this was an important visit for Netflix, of course. The trip results in a lot of high-quality material for Netflix's offerings podcasts and shows, he said on GB News. They have a very big contract, $100 million, to produce decent material, he said. You can't accomplish that if you're forever seated in your California Camelot on Montecito's hilltop. You've got to get out there with the people, 